Wallenberg. Coyle lost it momentarily. Now Beans for three. That one doesn't go down. Beans gets his own rebound, goes baseline, goes up strong, and could get this shot blocked as well by Coyle. Now off to the races. Off to the races, Silverman. And that's what giving uh, Silverman the opportunity to hit those threes. Beans with a mid-range jumper. Well, Ottawa Hills, you got to stay focused. They took for granted they were going to take the last shot. Great hustle by St. Joe. That will be a two if it counts. It does. Oh, they, they say it's a three. He was beyond the arc. Good quality passes around. Beans with it. He'll go strong to the basket, and he'll score. Seabound and Jeffrey Beans. Yeah, there's really not much. Not much you can do. And look at Beans, the athleticism of that defensive glass. That's what they're going to have to do. For, for Old Ford to be successful, they're going to have to outwork and get some second chance points on that end of the floor. There's Beans taking it to the rack. The Stockaders now with three players in double digits. Here's a pass down to Beans, and Beans with a nice move in the lane, puts it up and in. Green Bears. Beans wants a three pointer. You're in no hurry. You don't need a three at this point. If they give you the two, you take the two. But if you get a wide open three, you got to let it go. Janowitz to Beans. Tipped by Bannister, but Beans knocks down the three. We're tied with inside a minute to go. Great look, but great slide by Jeff Beans to get to that corner. Nice look along that baseline. The ball was tipped. They still got the Jeff Beans who knocked down the triple. The five foot eight. Here we go. They run their high low set here. Beans drives baseline. Left handed floater goes. Good, they set up an on-ball screen on the wing. Came up big in that region, in that district semis the other night. Starts off hot here again this evening. Beans from 15, he's got it. The versatility of Jeff Beans, he can go inside, he can score from the perimeter, knocks down his first shot of the evening. Wendy, you're gonna have to find a, make an adjustment. Try to eliminate his touches that deep. Thomas from 15, doesn't go down. Beans jumps in. Starts the third quarter. Right, your impression for the first half. Well, I think both teams, uh, when, able, when they've been able to get into their offense, got what they wanted. Beans for three, and he cuts. Inside, Beans count it. She's going at it for a chance to advance to the Sweet 16. Right back to Coyle. There's the mismatch. Second time. And they'll... Start the offense. Here they come. Pappas down to Beans, who will turn on Winsler and put it in. There you see the versatility of Jeff Beans. Once again, we talked about no first three-point perimeter shooting. Knocked down a 15-footer early. Now he goes inside and gets a smaller defender. Gets the conversion. Green Bears up three. And we'll take a break. It's a three-point. Ottawa Hills lead. They go right down to Beans, who's going to work on Ivan. Out it. Great footwork. Out of a hill, or Tudo Christian made a change, but Ivan on Beans inside. Beans fake to the middle, drops up to the baseline, got a shoulder square, nice soft touch and finish. Beans has 13, and now the steal by Beans as well. And Coach McSwinney is saying, come on, pressure the basketball. We need some turnovers. It's a seven-point Ottawa Hills lead. Coyle calling for it down low. Beans working on Sellier again to Coyle, and he's got it. Back in this ball game, where they go big once again. Beans down to Coyle, wide open, got it, two more. Three. Now out to King, and we'll see if Ottawa Hills wants to take some air out of the basketball. Coyle looking down to Beans again, and he draws the foul. We'll see if they got Sellier or Ivan. Both were down there trying to defend. They get Ivan. No, they got Winsler. Check that. Yeah, the guard instead of Chris was scraping down on Jeff Beans, and they had him wrapped up pretty good going up, not letting him get off that shot for a potential three-point play. Puts Beans at the line here. Free throws so crucial down the stretch in big games like this. There's no doubt about it. It's winning basketball. And, you know, you see teams that may be doing a great job of getting the type of looks they want. They go to the foul line and they don't convert with regularity. And all of a sudden you look at the board and you're not, you know, you're stuck on, you're stuck on a certain score for a long period of time. 
Ottawa Hills with a 14 point lead. Now Beans steals it. You can be tell Sawyer to 13 at this point. So the senior hits both free throws. And now another turnover. This is the advantage of size as well. When the guards get in trouble, you bring that size up in RJ Coyle to be able to alleviate some of that pressure. They try to go to Coyle, and that's where they go. Nice look to Beans. And Beans has two more. Now to Beans with a minute 11 to go. 58-43 the score. 107 left in this game, and back to the free throw line goes Jeff Beans. Jeff Beans has 17 points, looking for his 18th to 19th point, only had two in the first. Big second half for Ottawa Hills. The winner will play Colonel Crawford, who defeated Plymouth tonight. 49 to 48. Thank you. So 49-48, Colonel Crawford victorious. They are headed to the Stroh Center. They await the winner of this contest. Bean's second free throw goes down as well. There's a jumper from the corner baseline three with a man in his face, and Beans is good to go. Work to Klingenberger down low. Leaves Adams open for three. No. Beans skies for the rebound over to King. Silverman ended that first half with that NBA range three-pointer. He's got two threes. Here's Beans looking aggressively into the paint. Another spin move. Left hand off glass and good. It's Silverman looking for Beans. Beans fighting for it down low. It goes up left hand off the wind. And Kevin Breckmacher, you talked about Ottawa Hills has a nice crowd down here. But they've been pretty quiet. Yeah, they haven't had that much to cheer about because the team's been so far ahead. Shot that ball. I thought he was going to take it up, Joe. I did, too. Beans will fire from 10 feet, and he's got it. The ball in for the big guys and wear this team down. Beans to coil. Beautiful look. Jeff Beans making a lot of noise. Coil. Beans for three. And he gets three more. That was huge. He said at halftime, we can't continue to shoot at that rate. They certainly are so far. Down low, wide open, Silverman underneath. And he catches that he had an easy lay-in. Brown going right to the basket. Take care of the basketball. RJ Coyle on the bench, by the way, for Ottawa Hill now. Beans will work. His shot goes in. So 10-point game. Lifters got too much quickness. They can keep the ball away. They can run some clock and, and abbreviate that fourth quarter. Beans knocks down a much needed three. They don't want to foul Mangus. He shoots very well from the free throw line. And this time it's a foul underneath and it's going to go against Lipsick. So to the ball back. They can cut it to a one possession game. Down six. Beans. Count it. Count it. It's a three point game. Blake Pappas. Beans for three. Nails it. Jeffrey Beans has been nails down the stretch. And now the first 19 to lead all scores. Beans again for three. And he's fouled. So a crucial mistake for Lipsick. They foul Jeff Beans shooting a three. He'll go to the charity stripe now and get to shoot three free throws. Well, the six-point game, if, if uh, Jeffrey can uh, knock down three, it's one possession game again. Anybody's game with 19.9 seconds. Three huge free throws for Jeffrey Beans. The first one rolls in. Big difference between a one possession and, and two possession game with 19 seconds. Second free throw, count it. Count it, Tom Duncan. He needs this free throw to cut it to one possession with 19.9 to go. A.J. King back into the game. King, Silverman, Pappas, Jan or Coyle, and Beans. And it's a one possession game. Here comes the full court pressure. Try for the steal first.